It's the NFL on EA Sports, where we'll see two of the NFL's oldest and most storied franchises. It's the Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers under the lights on Monday night. There's a look at one of the most iconic sports venues in the lower 48, built back in 1957 under the title of City Stadium. We are at Lambeau Field in Green Bay, Wisconsin. Tonight, we've got the crew seat for what should be a real treat, a great Monday night matchup between the Los Angeles Rams and the Green Bay Packers. And hi again, everybody. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gauden. And Charles, when you and I were going through our final run-throughs at breakfast, we kept thinking tonight we're going to get to see a couple of very good passing offenses. And we're talking about both sides having multiple receivers that can have an impact on this game. It's not just one guy that's going to make all the plays. If you take him away, maybe number two, number three, they make the big plays that impact who wins the game. has it teed up and off we go from Lambeau take it in at the three. Oh, a good return up past the 30 so out come the Rams now for their first possession and they're led out by the number one overall pick back in 2018 Baker Mayfield and he's a guy who plays with a lot of emotion. He's learned how to channel it really positively because when he throws the football downfield and makes a big play, he'll be the first guy downfield to celebrate with you. But also, when his team needs that confidence, when they need that jolt, they turn to him, and he's ready to provide it. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Okay. He'll begin on the ground with Akers. And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. Nine yards is the pick up there, and they'll have a second and one. Now you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. Two yards, good enough for a first. Second and one is often an invitation to take the big shot downfield. I bet the offensive lineman said, are you kidding? We just get on our backs and let's go get the first down. They love being physical. Mayfield on first down. Oh, going for Jefferson downfield. And at the seven-yard line, the catch is made. Touchdown, possession and that one and even 60 yards in the air wow <laughs> Matt Gay on for the extra point It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. Scoring summary, three-play drive. And it was all capped off by the Van Jefferson touchdown reception. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. And here comes the winner of the last two NFL MVP awards, Aaron Rodgers, as he brings his Packers out for their first series of the game.
I remember watching him in college and seeing a guy that you knew had great potential, but I don't know that anyone knew that we would see how he would blossom as an NFL player who will go down as one of the all-time great quarterbacks, can make every throw from every angle with terrific mobility, and he knows how to win games, always in contention for a championship. On first down, Rodgers. That is caught. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards. It moves the sticks. Defense gives up a touchdown on the opening drive. Offense, you got to get out there and get those points back right now. And that's a sharp throw there to get this drive off to a good start. One play has him up past the 40 already, and another first and 10. Now Rodgers. Throw across his body, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. Parker, I think this one went awry very simply because he overestimated his arm strength and his ability to fit it anywhere he wants to. A lot of quarterbacks do that and often pay the price. So the Rams coming back out of the field, their second drive of the game. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and 10. So good field position for the Rams as they come up first and 10, just shy of midfield at the 48. On the counter, this is Akers. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. How many times do we say in this game that speed kills, and it does it in so many different ways. In this case, you got a back who's quick and shifty, can make moves, make people miss, but also gets to and through a hole before it can close down. That's some of the benefits of that speed, not just outrunning people in the secondary, and that led to a really nice gain. A first down throw for Mayfield. And the throw left sideline here is caught, but they'll rule it incomplete. Couldn't keep his feet in. Second down. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Now Mayfield. Got a man. It's Higby complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Better than a 30-yard gain as we wind down towards 30 seconds left in the quarter. I'm pretty sure any quarterback will tell you it's nice to have a tight end that can stretch the field. And how about him right there, working in the heart of the defense, and they connect on a very nice play downfield, a combination of talent and toughness to go into the briar patch. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. Throwing Mayfield. And this is caught. He's got a touchdown, L.A. Ben Skoranek from six yards away. And the Rams have taken a 13-0 first quarter lead. They've got to be thrilled on the road right now. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, and quickly trying to make it 14 to nothing. Yeah, and mentioned it already. On the road, to be able to go into someone else's house and establish a start like that, obviously your confidence rises in a big way, and you're putting some doubt in their minds. Extra point by Gay is up and good, and that'll make the score 14 to zip. A drive there of just four plays. And the result for the Rams, a touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Gay to kick it away. Nixon elects not to return it, and this comes out to the 25. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. 
And they're in an early hole. Their first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent size deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? He'll let this go deep for Lazard. And got his man complete. And it's a big play there as he is finally taken down on what will be a terrific final act of this first quarter. Back to the second, first and ten. Off the play fake to Jones. Here's Rodgers. And his throw is going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Here's second and 10 now from the 29. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones, uses the stiff arm. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. I really like the vision he displayed on that play because he saw there wasn't a lane to completely break off a huge gain. So he found where there was the most space and got what he could. A nice, dirty run that's a positive play for the offense. He finds Watson complete. And this is going to be another first down as the tackle is going to be made at the Rams' 13-yard line. A nice pickup of 10 means that this drive will stay on track. This has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Into the red zone, it's Rodgers. And he's got it! And it's a Packers touchdown! Robert Tunyon from 13 yards out. And the Packers are back within a score. Good bounce back drive right there through the pick on drive number one. Drive number two leads them right down the field into the end zone. Agree totally. Excellent bounce back. Tremendous poise. Confidence never lost. And obviously he transmitted that to his teammates as well. What a really nice drive. Crosby connects on the extra point, and that'll make our score 14 to 7. So that drives six plays, 75 yards. And it was Robert Tunyon capping it all off on the touchdown grab. Now, after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. L.A. readies for its next possession. Well, this offense looks like they have a little extra pep in their step as they take the field here for drive number three because, remember, Charles, drives one and two both ended in the end zone. Yeah, and right now they've just got to be careful not to lean into overconfidence because every drive has a life of its own. But I like the way that they've started. Now Mayfield lost the football, but it looked like a Rams player was able to get his hands on it. Yes, so they will hold on to the football indeed. So they keep the ball, but work to do on second and long. They'll run with a backup. This is Williams. And some room to run now. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. Third and short yardage, Mayfield. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That could be the stop this defense needed to get them back on track. They've been pretty well dissected by the offense here in the first half. After that possession, now they know that they can compete with this offense. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Fielded just inside the 20. A nice job getting free on the return for 13 yards. And it'll be Packer football here. First down and 10. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. 
And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little bit. And now off to the races, down the right side. Touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones, 68 yards. And the Packers are able to strike quickly here as they are in for six. Sometimes running plays hit or break so fast, there's no reaction time from the secondary. So I've got to give credit to the offensive line for creating that hole so suddenly. And how decisive was he to take that cut and just go? No one downfield there to stop him. Now Crosby for the point after. And we've got a good one, Bruin. We're all not up at 14. I'm not sure if they drew that play up to score, but it scored indeed. One play on the ground and into the end zone for six. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. It was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. I know coaches tell us all the time to have a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps have the pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. Devondre Campbell flies in to blow that play up. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now, as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you're doing a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Not wanting to risk another sack, they'll play it safe with a run. And they'll indeed stop him on third down. And now what do you want to do with your timeouts? Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. Riley Dixon now to punt it away. Taking it about the 36. So we're at halftime here on a Monday night as we send you down to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, BG, thanks very much. And welcome one and all to our beautiful new downtown Orlando studios for this EA Sports Halftime Report. First, though, a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Rams. And they didn't get a whole lot done in the rushing department in those first two quarters. They probably feel pretty lucky to be tied here at halftime. Meanwhile, for the Packers, here's a look at their numbers throwing the football in what was a very even first half. These two teams going through their final adjustments. It's about time for the second half in Green Bay. So for the call, we go back up to Lambeau and Brandon God. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And ready to get the party started for the second half. It was an even first half, all tied on the scoreboard. And he won't quite make it to the 25. For the Packers ready to go to start quarter number three. This offense ready for the first drive of the third quarter. Well, quarters number one and two entertaining. We saw some good offense points put up, Charles, and all tied on the scoreboard. And it sets us up for what could be a really fun second half because we've seen both sides score almost at will here in the first half. And now, here in the second half, 
getting the ball first, you've got to think, hey, we can go out and really run our offense the way we did in the first half. But if I'm a defensive player, all I'm thinking is, can I make a play to really help out my team and break this streak of offense? So a loss of five, and it'll be second down. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. So a five-yard run the other way in the wrong direction, and that leads us to second and 15. Here's Rodgers. And this is caught by Watkins. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. On the sideline, did he keep his feet in bounds? They say yes. Great job, both feet in, first down. Able to convert on third and 14, a terrific play call. And that's how you pick up a first down. Not only does he make the catch, but has enough body control to get his feet down in bounds, toe tapping and dragging to make sure he gets it done. First and 10 at the 38. Rodgers going to throw. This is caught. It's Christian Watson. There he goes right side. Touchdown, Packers. Well, fair to say that when you're looking at guys that can run like the wind, you often find him at the wide receiver position. And that was special there. And that's the kind of play where you have to kind of catch your breath afterwards and just give me a second here because when he shifted into high gear, he was an absolute blur out there. No substitute for speed. We talk about that all the time. The evidence was right there. And his top speed is computed by next-gen stats, 21.6 miles per hour. Extra point up and good by Crosby. And the lead is now 21-14. Just a four-play drive that time. And it was all capped off by a touchdown catch from Christian Watson. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Out come the Rams. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. You're exactly right about that, partner. And I know that right now the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play, multiple plays, that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. I see a shake of the head as he gets up, and you've got to imagine he's thinking, guys, you got to help me out. He's hoping his team can read his thoughts because he definitely needs some assistance. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Mayfield looks to throw. And this is incomplete. He's a little too happy right there. And it turned into an ill-advised throw into their zone. We know he has confidence. He'll throw it any place, anytime, anywhere. That time it fell incomplete. On third down, Mayfield. And that is incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for L.A. And take it right on the 30. And he'll go out of bounds, it looks like, right at the 40. That'll be a 43-yard punt, but a net of just 33 following a 10-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Yes, 
Rodgers will break the huddle and bring the pack up first and 10 at the 40. The drive starts with a carry by Dillon to the 43, second down. An opportunity to get a drive started here at the end of the third quarter. What you're trying to do is break the game down a little bit. Don't let your guys see too deep into the game, into the future, and say, oh, we got to get here. No, right here, right in front of them. Melt the clock down, get to the fourth quarter, try and keep going. And try to keep that lead. Exactly. And some nifty running here as he'll take this across midfield and down to the 47. Give him 10 there. Good enough for a Packer first down. One quarter remains here as we wrap up the week on a Monday night. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now at Lambeau. It's Packer football here as they've got the lead as well to begin the fourth quarter. After the run by Jones, here's first and ten. Here's Rodgers to throw. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Throwing is Rodgers. Open man left side. It's the tight end, Tunyon. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A gain of 28 yards there and give him a first down. And these guys said they're not hiding what their intention is. They're absolutely showing it. They're definitely not going to sit on this lead here in the fourth quarter. Totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And they work this near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. This game not quite as good as the last, but still over 40 yards between the two. Down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So it's Packer football here as we welcome you back. They've got it first and goal as they search for what could be a game-sealing touchdown. Now Jones. And he's going to press this one forward as they stop it right around the one. And now right out of the two-minute break, We'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. They'll try and pound it in with Dillon. And he will get this into the end zone. Touchdown, Green Bay. A.J. Dillon touching it in for a yard Packers have opened up a two-touchdown lead in this fourth quarter. So they brought the extra bulk in down in the one-yard line in order to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind-melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. Extra point try now for Crosby. He's got it as they double up the lead. This one's now 
So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it was A.J. Dillon who capped it off with a touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Crosby to kick it away. And they'll start at the 25 as Powell decides against returning it. Mayfield and the offense now. Down by two touchdowns. A minute 53 remaining. How will this thing pan out? We'll watch as they come up on first down. Mayfield. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. Passing lanes, tough to come by with so many defensive bats on the field here late in the game. And it's not just the number of bodies, it's their quickness and their agility that makes it tough to complete a pass. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Back-to-back -back incompletions, but we know this is definitely four-down territory. Time not on their side. I don't think they want to try and get the first down in two installments. I think they got to go and get it right here, right now. That would complete to Skoranek. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. Nice third down conversion and even 20 yards. Clock management, definitely critical here if they want to get back in this game. Absolutely agreed. They have to up the tempo in this case, down a couple of scores. Want to make sure they have a chance to win this ball game. Mayfield. This one finding the hands of Brandon Powell. Go, and they're able to work this across midfield to the 48. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Baker. Complete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. Desperation time. Mayfield on fourth down. And yeah, that is incomplete, but there is a flag. And on fourth down, this is a big call. Charles, they're trying to protect this lead late. Those are the types of mistakes they can afford to go without. About the last thing you want to give them is help in completing a comeback, which is exactly what that penalty does. Now Mayfield. Forced out to his left. And he'll be out of bounds just inside the 25-yard line. He'll wind up getting nine after tucking it and running, so it'll leave him with second and a yard. Mayfield to throw. Finding Williams on the check down. And he went nowhere. He'll lose yardage back to the 29. They'll get to the line here. But remember, it's also third down. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. And now defensively, the two-minute drill, the big key to me, make sure you understand your assignments. And any time you get a chance to tackle someone in bounds, get them on the ground. Mayfield to throw for it on four. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They had to go for it with such little time remaining, and the Packers' D comes up with a big stop. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about slim and none? Well, slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Start out on the ground with Jones. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game.
Rodgers looking to throw. He sets to fire deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. On second down, it's Jones. Stopped up shy of the 45 despite some pretty powerful running. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. So third down and defensively the Rams have added two extra DBs. To throw is Rodgers. Got a man, it's Tunyon. And he is going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. A gain of eight and a first down. So it's all over. Side of this, Charles, an impressive victory on the other. I mean, you think about it, they scored in the first quarter, but then they didn't score in quarters two, three, or four. They're going to have a lot of work to do before stepping back on the field. Yeah, it'll be an interesting tape to analyze, won't it? Because why did it work in the first quarter, but nothing in quarters two, three, and four? So we always talk about adjustments. You don't just wait till halftime, you do it series to series. They'll be working on that in preparation for their next game.